All right, this note is on the aromatic hydrocarbons. And so aromatic hydrocarbons are simply those hydrocarbons that are based on a benzene ring. Uh, benzene is a six carbon ring. It has um, each carbon attached to the other one and then a single hydrogen off of each carbon. So in order to create this structure, there have to be uh, alternating double bonds um, between the carbons. So uh, two carbons would have a double bond and then the carbon attached to on the other side of that carbon is a single bond and then double bond and single bond. And so that is the, really the structure that um, creates this configuration. Now, we do run into one little issue with drawing the structure this way, and that is that when, and we've talked this about a little bit about this before, um, if you draw an x-ray crystallography of, or when you do an x-ray crystallography of this structure, it shows us that all of the carbon-carbon bonds are identical. So the, w they're not double bonds and single bonds, which would have sep different lengths. All the bond lengths are the, exactly the same. And so the way we theorize how to um, explain this, again, we bring in that idea of resonance. And so the same thing that we had in unit one with those um, uh, carbonate ions and that sort of thing where we had to say, okay, well, maybe the double bonds are flipping around from one uh, orientation to another. And so we delocalize these double bonds so that they can have this structure on the left and the structure on the right, and it happens so fast that the effect is that all of the carbon-carbon bonds are in fact the same length. So to simplify that and to indicate uh, that that is in fact the case, we simplify the structure by drawing a hexagon with a circle inside. And so this in essentially shows us um, using a line structure uh, configuration uh, and we're going to go almost exclusively to line structures from here on in um, the, uh, the the configuration for benzene now the hydrogens themselves can also be um, switched out with other functional groups so we can substitute uh, different things onto those hydrogens in different places around this ring and so when we name these compounds, it's in a similar form format to that of the naming the, the cyclic compounds, uh, the cycloalkenes. So for example, methylbenzene uh, looks like this, where we substitute one of the hydrogens with a methyl group. Uh, other ones, so if we can use up, double up the methyl groups. Now we look at the orientation here, um, and so we just kind of we, in this case, we would just pick one and then um, go in the direction closest to the other one and number them one, two, three. So this would be one, three dimethylbenzene. Uh, in this circumstance, again, uh, we try to get the numbers as, as, as small as possible. Again, we follow that alphabetical order. We start with the largest group here, the ethyl. So this would be uh, one ethyl. Uh, two, four dimethyl benzene. All right. Um, now, the other thing that we can do with benzene is we can use it as a functional group when we attach it as kind of a substitute onto a um, larger uh, carbon chain. So an alkene, an alkene, or an alkyne. As a functional group, we call this a phenyl group. And so if we have something like this, because this part that's attached to the um, benzene ring is a really complicated structure, the really complicated structure becomes the most important part of this. And this benzene ring now becomes a, a, a kind of an add-on, kind of like this branch. This part here is a branch as well. All right, so we would name this, the first starting from this end, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a hexane. Um, there's a methyl group on the number two carbon and a phenyl group on the number four carbon. All right, so then the way we would name this is 2-methyl, 
4-phenylhexane. Again, remember alphabetical order of the functional groups, meth M before P, LMNOP. Um, so uh, the, the methyl group comes first, uh, not because of the numbers, but because it's in alphabetical order. Okay, so that's how we do those kinds of things. All right, so here's some homework questions uh, for you to practice this. Um, try these, bring questions uh, to class, and we'll talk about them there.